So annotation covers anything really that gets added above the datum line on top of your cross sections. The first thing we're going to do is click on the pull down and click on add symbols from codes. This will allow us to place blocks or labels on top of our design surface. The first thing we're going to do is pick a symbol layer. So for ease here, we're simply going to pick zero. You can then tell it through which range you would like to have this label added. So we're simply going to put zero to a thousand to cover all cross sections within the um, plotting. The scale means that if we add a block or a symbol, that block can be scaled up by a factor of a value. Now, what we're simply going to do is put one in both, which means that the block will not be scaled. You can also add an X and Y offset for the block or the label which will be added in. So if you need to position it slightly offset from the surface, now we're simply going to put zero values in here. We can then choose what part of the design we would like to have labeled up. So we're simply going to pick the center line. In the next pull down, you have the option to pick a block. Now this is a list of all of the blocks found within your common folder. So if you wanted to have a particular block being used for a marker or the symbol to represent the center line, then you could do that. We're going to choose the label option. Now this is presenting to us the same labels that we were able to use um, earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pick the following from the list, annotation, elevation, vertical. If you wanted to see how this label style is set up, you can click on edit label styles. This is the same form that was used um, for the purposes of the labels and also the alignment. So if you wanted to control what text is shown, for example, we can edit the text, control that piece of text in there, even things like the height, etc. And the line, which you'll just about to see in a second as well. So we can actually control how the line is being drawn. Again, with any label style, it's always recommended that you do a copy first and work on a copy. Don't work on the original, just so that you've got something to fall back on if you need. We're going to click Cancel. I'm going to click OK. And that label style has been added onto the drawing. Now with respect to cross falls, you'll note that the cross falls are only shown on the first cross section. So if you wanted cross falls shown on every single cross section, we can go to the annotation pull down, click on cross falls, and you can see there that we only have the bottom left cross section being displayed with cross falls. If you want them on every single one, we can check the show on every section and then click OK. Any band which has been told to show cross sections will show cross sections on that particular surface. And to show you what I mean, I'm going to double click on the design surface. When we go to section labels, you'll notice that the show cross falls box is checked. That means that if we decide we want to see cross falls displayed on our cross sections, this particular surface will show them for us. So you need to make sure that that is set up. Click on cancel. Now we're going to look at how you can add an offset of your choice. Let's say, for example, we needed to have an offset drawn on every cross section two and a half meters to the left hand side of zero. Well, to do this, we click on the annotation pull down and click on specify offsets. Again, we can choose a change range. So if this particular offset only occurs within a certain range, we can do that. We're simply going to pick from zero to a thousand. In the offsets value here, we're going to double click and type in minus 2.5. We're going to say it's active and then click OK. Once we've done that, you'll see that within every single cross section now, we've got an offset being displayed at two and a half meters to the left of the center line. And again, you can choose to remove that particular entry if you wish. Once you've set your cross sections up and got them looking how you want them to look, again, it's very important that you save the style. This means that whenever you come to generate future cross sections, even if you want to remove or add additional content, the initial style that's been set up is how you want them to look. You have the choice of either plotting to layout down the bottom, or plotting to file. Plot to file will by default go to our data folder unless we've told it otherwise in the layout names tab at the top here. Plotting to layout will generate sheets for us down the bottom of our window here. So we're going to click on plot to layout.
you can see we've actually got quite a number of cross sections due to the spacing requirement that I added in within the sections list but they've now plotted so we can begin to go in and make changes to these these are simply now text and line work we can begin to edit them if we choose what we can do is now click on the close button to close the form